Hi guys, um, out here climbing today, and but I told myself I would do a updated um, vlog, video blog. Um, what I'm going to talk about just for a few minutes is um, a lot of people when they get out of these relationships with these narcissists or psychopaths or sociopaths or just people that are um, high on the narcissistic spectrum, they ask themselves, or, or even just on the narcissistic, narcissistic spectrum, which sometimes can be addiction, and but they ask themselves, they, they're like, am I the narcissist? And here's a couple of um, ways to determine whether you are or whether you aren't. Um, so one, the fact that you're looking into this right now is um, a sign that you're probably not. Uh, because most narcissists um, don't go onto blogs to see if they are a narcissist. They don't do research on narcissism. Some, some probably do, but it's not that common. Um, and then typically the people that are looking into these, you know, trying to understand what's happened is because they just got out of a relationship that was so different than any other sort of breakup they ever had or it was just like really shocking to them. Um, with a narcissist and usually um, what they saw is that there was no closure there was no honest communication um, in my case I was with somebody for um, over a decade we were married and um, there was absolutely no closure no communication no accountability no apology no no um, signs of remorse but no communication to say, you know, I'm sorry that it ended and here's why it ended and this is what's I've been going what's been going on for me. None of that. Absolutely no communication. Of course, the whole relationship there was no communication of um what bothered him or what didn't. I would say, Hey, you know, if something bothers you that I do, you know, can you tell me so that I can have a chance to sort of work on it? And um he'd say, Oh, well, nothing really bothers me. So you know, and then I found out that he's having a, an affair with a married lady with three small children at work and he has like a double life. So clearly some shit bothered him. But um, so you'll, the people when they're doing this research is because the, typically they don't have any closure and they don't understand what just happened to them. And they got out of this relationship. Usually they had some sort of brutal, drastic discard that they don't even understand. And they're doing their research and that's how they come upon these blogs about narcissism. So that's one way is if you're doing the research and you're asking yourself the question, you probably aren't because narcissists also um, don't usually, they, they can't acknowledge part of the disorder if they have full-blown MPD or if they're sociopaths or psychopaths is they can't, cannot acknowledge that there's anything wrong with them. They think that their behaviors are just fine. They think that, you know, treating others poorly, lying to others, manipulating, gaslighting, silent treatment, stonewalling, you know, infidelity, addiction, whatever, they think it's perfectly fine to do that. And they don't even see that they're not even able to accept that they've hurt others. So, um, usually they think it's everybody else's fault. They're very much about projection and, and blaming others for what their issues are. So there's that. And then the other thing is, um, do you have empathy? So, you know, if somebody tells you that they just lost their child or, you know, somebody that they really cared about died, like, do you feel their pain? And, uh, you know, do you feel it? Um, do you cry at movies? And I'm not saying that, you know, narcissists can't cry at movies, but do you feel empathy? Do you have an empathetic response? Because if you do, then you're probably not a narcissist because in general, they, they are very detached from their empathetic response. They either have no empathy or it's severely impaired. So, you know, do you have empathy? Do you have empathy? Sorry, I just honked my horn. Um, so that, that would be, you know, one question to ask yourself. And then, um, you know, are you able to apologize when you've harmed somebody? Um, when you've done some wrong, are you able to acknowledge it? Are you able to self-reflect? Are you able to do some introspection? And um, can you acknowledge your flaws? Um, I have a lot of flaws. I talk too much. I don't listen enough. Um, I try to fix people. Um, a lot of times I give unsolicited advice when they haven't asked for it and they haven't asked to be fixed. Um, I have a multitude of flaws. I shop too much. I mean, I have a lot of flaws um, and I'm able to acknowledge them and, and work on them. And it doesn't shame me to the core to acknowledge that I have flaws because I realize that we're, we're all human. 
We all have flaws and being able to acknowledge them, recognize them and, and give them over to God or work on them is just part of the human experience. So, you know, do you know what's wrong with you? Are you able to acknowledge that they're, that you're not perfect? And are you willing to do some work on it? If you are, then you are most decidedly not a narcissist. So I don't know. Um, those are just some of the tips that I've kind of come across that I've learned to sort of determine whether or not you are the narcissist. So hope this helps. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.